Hi Brandon, it's Megan and Dave from Baltimore and we have a few questions for you. We've been lucky enough to see you perform all across the country. We were wondering if you had a favorite region to perform in. Where is it and why? Ooh, that's um, that's a tough one. I mean, because I, I, if I leave anybody out, it's going to be bad. But um, I guess being a kid from Jackson, Tennessee, not knowing the country music scene in the Northeast, that, um, that completely blew me away. So when we go up there, I feel the love when we're, when we're up there. And uh, that's something I, I didn't expect prior to getting a record deal and actually getting to, to travel to some of these places. So um, I love going up there, especially when it's not too cold. We loved seeing you open for Brantley on his Fired Up tour, and we're excited for that to get going again. But do you have a favorite moment from the tour so far? Yeah, my favorite moment from the tour was when we were in Evansville, and Brantley comes out there with a camera on his shoulder during my set, and um, I'm rocking, and you know, everybody knows I keep time with my left leg, and uh, here comes Brantley, and everybody starts cheering, and of course I'm like, yeah, and I didn't realize it until, until I looked over my shoulder, and there, and there he was. So I hear he likes to pray, play pranks, and I'm sure that will be uh, to be continued. Speaking of the Brantley tour, we know that you were really excited to play Red Rocks for the first time. We were wondering, other than Red Rocks, what are some of your other dream venues that you just really can't wait to play? Yeah, I would, um, I would say anywhere with reverb. I think that's why I was looking forward to, to Red Rocks, just because it sounds so, you know, cathedral-esque, if you will. Um, it, everything you play and sing sounds more important when, when it's cavernous. So Red Rocks was definitely on my bucket list, but, you know, Watershed and also uh, the Hollywood Bowl, I think um, would just feel a little exotic for a country boy, and that's kind of right up my alley. Who have you been listening to during this quarantine? Do you have any new music suggestions? Uh, I've been listening to a lot of Kid Rock and Sheryl Crow, um, Alanis Morissette. I feel like it, I get the 90s feels and, uh, and when I put on like Matchbox 20, I've been kind of on a, on a 90s kick and um, just kind of trying to dive in and study sonically what made those songs so, so special. I mean, they were obviously great songs and great performers, but but the magic and the recordings, I mean, it all had to come together. So I've been listening to a lot of 90s stuff and just um, trying to trying to learn some tricks that they did back then. And it's funny how how different um, technology has, has made music sound along the way. So, uh, but definitely been riding my motorcycle, definitely been on a, on a 90s gig. And speaking of music, obviously we're really big Brandon fans. A lot of your lyrics really resonate with us. We were wondering what some of your favorite lyrics you've ever written are. Whether released or unreleased. You know, lyrics are the, are the heart of every song. Um, and my, my favorite lyrics to any song I've written would definitely be the, the bridge of a song called Starting Young. Um, sometimes I wonder if it was you or if it was 16 when the thought of you crosses my mind. Either way, I think um, if I'd have been a little older, I could have handled you better. You know, I think that those two lines in a bridge kind of sum up so much because when, when you when you look back at the past, it's always on a pedestal. And um, was it that person you were missing, or was it or was it that time you were missing? So I think that's my favorite lyric. We know you've kept yourself busy by working on all these cars, trucks, tractors. What tool do you always lose, and where do you normally find it? Oh gosh, yeah, no, I think we're making too big of a deal about me working on this stuff. I think the label's gonna get gonna get worried that uh, that I'm not putting all my focus into music. But definitely a three eighths wrench. You know, I should just buy a new tool set and take anything that's three eighths and just throw it in the weeds and go ahead and get that out of the way. So that's usually where I find it too. Brandon, it's been so great getting to ask you these questions. We hope you're staying safe. We really miss all of you. We can't wait to see you back on the road. Hopefully that's soon.